So, before I speak anything, I would like to remember and pay obeisances to <clears throat> one very dear devotee of Srila Guru Dev, who is not with us this year, Srimati Umadidi. Srimati Umadidi Ki. Who used to come every year and inspire so many devotees, not only here but everywhere in the world. And a lot of contributions, not only restricted to the Anput festival where she used to cook more than 250 breads, but also the ideals of Srila Gurudev and Srila Bhaktivedan Baman Goswami Maharaj and Pujapar Bhaktivedan Prikram Goswami Maharaj. She is the one who saw Param Gurudev and association with Param Gurudev. And in the glorification of Srimati Umadili, I bless my point of saying if she would have been in a male body, mm. mm -hmm. the most senior devotee in the Guru Dev Sangha. Mm. <laughs> so, she is with Guru Dev, serving somewhere, <laughs> just suffering to her. Bless all of your sons and daughters so we can follow the footsteps of Shri Guru Dev. Special thanks to new Braj Vasis, new Braj devotees hosting this program every year, and especially this year. And special thanks to devotees who are contributing for no fees. <laughs> and especially to the kitchen department, working volunteer without any demands <laughs> and they only want a blessing from all the Vaishnavas and all those who are contributing with words, mind, body and of course with dollars. <laughs> Thank you so much for arranging this program. It's giving so much inspiration to be in the Sangha, Srila Gurudev's Sangha that means entire Guru Parampara Sangha. Shri Guru Dev is representative of the entire Guru Parampara. As Guru Dev explained, that Bhakti Vedanta is what? Even Brahma is Bhakti Vedanta. The entire Guru Parampara is Bhakti Vedanta. So, because of him, we are here. And because of Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada, we are here. And hearing such high topics and so much details and in depth of Shirat Yatra itself. Last year we celebrated uh, Snan Purnima of Jagannath. And this year the festival start on the day of Rath Yatra. So there are many deep topics we heard. We are hearing from two days this morning also. And just now we heard some pastimes of Rath Yatra. <coughs> There are three prakoshta, Vrindavan, Mathra, and Dwarika. The essence of three prakoshta is Vrindavan. That means Braj pastimes. So there is Braj pastimes, then there is Mathra pastimes, and there is Dwarika pastimes. But all these three, amongst the, all these three, Sri Sargam Vishaha, Mahavatam first verse is described. Brajalila, Matra Lila, and Dwarka Lila. The Matra Lila and Dwarka Lila is only to nourish Brajalila. The associates of Dwarka is there to glorify Braj associates. The essence of all pastime is Brajalila, which is non different from Aprakat Leela. There is Prakat Leela, there is Aprakat Leela, and there is Rishyaman. That pastime which is happening in Lola Vrindavan, there is Aprakat Leela. The pastime which happened 5,000 some years back, 
in Vrindavan, this, that was Prakat Lila. But now when we go Vrindavan or Brajmanda places, this is Drishyaman Vrindavan. Sometimes, what it has to do with Rasmita, with Jagannath, Rathyatra, I'm just making a foundation, introduction. With the special compassion of Krishna, he made his associates, his dear ones, to see a Prakat Leela also in Prakat Leela. For example, when Krishna sent Uddham to Raj, Gacha Uddham Rajam Somyam Pitruna Pitrim Ahunam Gopinam Vavyod Adam Mas Sandesh Vimochai. Oh, the go to Braj and pacify my parents, my Nanda Baba Yashoda Maya. But Gopi Nam Mav Yogadim, the Gopis who are in feeling, who are in separation from me, don't try to apply your knowledge there. It's not going to work. But Mas Sandesh Vimochaya, only deliver my message, my Sandesh. When Uddha came to Braj, what, what, hap what was happening that time, 5,000 years back? Prakat Leela. But just for few moments, Krishna made Uddha see the Aprakat Leela in Prakat Leela. And what Uddha saw? Smriddhavan Braj. Braj which is very prosperous. Birds chirping, peacocks dancing, two bulls. Shri Gopal Shampu described two bulls fighting for a cow. <laughs> that means everything is so bliss and happy and prosperous. Two bulls fighting for a cow. Huh? And everyone there is singing the names of Krishna while joining water and all. That's Guru Dev's favorite. Govinda <laughs> made Uddha see hmm, a Prakat Braj in Prakat Leela, a Prakat Leela in Prakat Leela for momentary and then disappeared and after that Uddha saw everything is like a desert, <coughs> birds not singing, they are crying and weeping sitting on the branches of the tree, peacocks crying Cows not grazing grass, calves are not drinking milk, and everyone is like, it's like all goes down. Everyone is weeping and crying. You know? So, what is the difference between Golok Leela and Braja Leela? Shri Snatan Goswami Par in Vedam Bhaktakamatam describing no difference. The only difference is up and down. Golok Leela is there and Braj Leela, Bhom Leela, Bhom Vrindavan Leela is here. That's all. But there is something which is called Vashishti, speciality. You know? A speciality. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saswit Thakur Prabhupada, he used to do comparative studies amongst devotees. But when we do comparative study, we are not minimizing someone, mm. but we are highlighting the glories of other persons. Yeah, it's not minimizing or not finding. Mm. Mathra is not less. If you read Mathra Mahatma by Ruth Goswami, he described 
If anyone stay three nights in Mathura, get Krishna Prem. Mathura Matme, Swarup Goswami. But when we do comparative study, so we are not minimizing something. We are highlighting the glories of a personality or a dham. So, Bhom Vrindavan has some Vashishti. Although it's the same, but there's a Vashishti. And that Vashishti is established by Krishna himself and described by Kaviraj Goswami Chaitanya Chaitanya in Adi Lila. Vekund Adde Yeja Lila Nahi Prachar Se Se Lila Koribo Jate Mor Chamatka Those pastimes which I am not manifest or relish in Vekund Lila, Vekund Adde, when you say Vekund Adde means Vekund and Bolo together. Those pastimes which I am not able to relish in Aprakat Lila, Se Se Lila Koribo Jate Mor Chamatka I will manifest and expand those five times when I come in Bhom Vrindavan. Jate Mor Chamatkar and I will be very astonished. I myself will be very astonished what I am doing. <coughs> and who is doing this? We just heard before they were standing. Who is arranging this? A magician. Who is that magician? Mo vishe gopi gan upuka ki bhave Yog maya kori ve apna prabhave Ami na jani na jani gopi gan Duhu rup gune duhu nitte haraman Dharma chadi raag doho kora milan Kabu mile kabu na mile dewe rabhata Even though my gopis are mine, swakya Swakya means mine But yog maya Establish a paramar mood, parkya mood, which I'm going to relish and they're going to relish, but I'm going to relish more when we descend here in Bhom Vrindavan. This parkya bhav. Yog my koribe apna prabhavi. Amina jani na jani gopi gun. Even I don't know and my gopis also don't know. Duhu rup gune nitte hare man. And we're going to get. Uh, Bewildered, seeing each other's uh, reciprocations and beauty every minute, every moment, and every day. Dharma chadi rag doho kora milan kabu mile kabu na mile deve rakata. Even though my gopis are mine, it is so difficult, it's going to be so difficult to meet them. This is Parkya Bhav. It's going to be so difficult to meet them. Why? Because of this one point, Parkya. And what is Parkya Bhav? Just like gopis went to someone else, Paramar Bhut. There are four ingredients in Parkya Bhav. Rupa Goswami Pad describing Ujjwaneva. Prachan Kamata, Vamata, Man, and Durlapta. Four ingredients. When these four ingredients are present, then it's called Parikya Bhav. Not just married to someone else and develop love with someone else. The gopis, they fell in love with Krishna and that's Parikya Bhav. Four ingredients has to be there to make it Parikya. And therefore, Kurushetra Leela, which is Jagannath Puri Dham Leela, which is also known as Vipralam Shetra, Shankar Shetra, Jagannath Shetra, many names, and Sri Shetra. This pastime of Dwarka is there to enhance the love, the prema of Sri Radha Krishna, and to enhance the union of Sri Radha and Krishna. Why? This is called Vipralam now. Vipralam means separation, and Samog means union. Rupa Goswami Bhatt describing Bina Vipralam Bena Samho Pushti Vashnayu Without Vipralam there is no enjoyment in union. Vipralam Bhav is so important to enhance that union. And Gurudev described there are many Sampradayas in Vrindavan 
they don't believe in Vipralambha. You only say, union is everything. Gurudev said, of course. The mood is to unite Radha and Krishna. Jai Jai Radha Krishna Yugal Milan. But there has to be some obstruction. And that obstruction is Vipralambha. And never thought of this Vipralambha would have gone that high and for those, that many years Krishna left Gokul, 10 years, 2 months, some days. Mathura killed Kamsa and went to Dwarka and killed so many demons there and married 16,100 queens there. So much Vipralam. Radharani in Braj and Krishna there in Dwarka, crying and weeping for each other. There is a song in Vrindavan, just like ordinary mundane song. Many people sing this. The Radharani is envious. Such a stupid rascal song. <coughs> Radharani is envious. Krishna came to Mathura, he married, sorry, he fell in love with, or Kubja fell in love with Krishna. Sadhartha Rakhi. Krishna came to Dwarka, married 16,108 queens. Samajasya Rakhi. Yukshi Radharani, she forgot Krishna and she forgot that love of Krishna. Is she envious? If Radharani is envious, none of us can chant Hare Krishna Mahamudra. She wants everyone to love Krishna. So how big heart and big love. She helping everyone to love her beloved Krishna. This Vipralam how went so many years in Dwarka. But then there was a point of meeting. Sanjo, as Shri Radha described, Sanjogini Radha, Vyogini Radha, and Vishuddhana Nandini Radha when she is in Vrindavan. There is also Vyog there in Vrindavan. But that Vyog, that separation in Vrindavan, where she is feeling intense separation, almost about to leave her body. And Shri Gurudev was describing how they put cotton balls to check if she is breathing or not. But then the point came to Sanjog meeting. And on the pretext of solar eclipse, Brajavasis on their bullock carts, they are coming to Kurukshetra <coughs> to take bath in Brahm Sarovar. What is the speciality of Kurukshetra? Oh, the great battle Mahabharata took place. And Krishna saw Bhagavad Gita. But why, uh, why Kurukshetra is known as Dharam Shetra? Dharam Shetra, Kurukshetra, Samvetta, Yudhisthava, Mamaka, Pandav, Seva, Prima, Kurva, Sanjaya. The first, the Gita starts with a question. Then why? Because Gita is not spoken yet. Then how Kurukshetra can become Dharam Shetra? Because Parshuram, after killing the demonic kings on the planet 21 times, he performed five great yajyas at Kurukshetra. And that's why another name of Kurukshetra is Samantha Panchakam. Five great yajyas. And then Kurukshetra has become Dharam Shetra. So the battle decided to take place at Dharam Shetra, where Dharma is prominent, where Dharma is prominent, and it will be revealed at the end of battle who won that. Those who are following Dharma. And who is following Dharma? The Pandavas. And why they are following Dharma? Because they are following Krishna. Satyam Mahabharata says, Satyam Pratishtatam Krishna, Satyam Pratishtatam. 
Wherever Satya, the all truth is there, Krishna is present there. And wherever Krishna is there, all truth is there. Satyam Param Dhimahi. In Bhagavatam, two places, Satyam Param Dhimahi. The first shloka, Janma Dasyata, not going into detail. But then other words, at the end of Bhagavatam, Kasmani Vibhasitam Tune, Gyan Pradipura, Tad Rupena Narakunya, Krishna Tadha Rupena. Satyam Param Dhimahi. Two places in Mahabharata. And Mahabharata described Satyam Pratishatam Krishna. So this is the place Kurushetra, the foundation, the ground where meeting took place, Sanjog, after a long time of Vyo separation. Now, Sanyog meeting is of four kinds. Why don't go swami? No, it's not that oh, we meet, we met devotees here, Hare Krishna, Dangar Pranams, and Hal. <laughs> but there's so many varieties and details of meetings and separations. It's not just one word meeting, Sanyog. There are four kinds of sanjog. What are four kinds? One sanjog, one meeting, which takes place after pur purvarag. Mm -hmm. hmm? Purvarag. Purvarag means anticipating. Anticipation. Purvarag. That meeting, that sanjog is called Sankshipta sanjog. Very, I mean, I, the description by Rupa Goswami is very uh, intimate. I can't even describe in this audience. So just we hear the terms, that's all. It's very intimate. So anticipation. Rather is anticipating Krishna. Krishna came and then they meet. This is Sanyog meeting after Purvarag. Then there is Sanyog. Another sanyog, meeting, which takes place after man, when Radharani, she manifests man, certain mood. Why she manifests man? What are kind of mans? This is also great details by Rupa Goswami. You know? Ahir eva swabhat, swabhati kutila bhavet, hetu ra hetu yunam man uchchate. The love of young ones is very crooked like snake. Sometimes with cause, sometimes without cause, they manifest man. Means rather than manifest man. So after man, the meeting which takes place after man, that sanyog is known as Sankirna Sanyog. Then there is third category. So why I am saying all this? You might think, oh, this is Ratyatra topic and what he is speaking. This has so much to do with Ratyatra. I am coming to that point. The third meeting is after Dur Pra, after Pravas. Pravas means when someone, your beloved love is in a foreign land and he comes back and see you or she comes back and see you. That's called Sampan. Sanyog, which happens at the stage of Adirur. Sne, Maan, Prane, Rag, Anurag, Modan, Madan, Rur, Adirur. That stage of Adirur mixed with the meeting when Krishna has with Radharani. That is called Sampan Sanyog. But then the fourth one, which is most important, is called Smridhavan Sanyog, which happens after Dur Pravas, after long, long, long years of separation. Smridhavan Sanyog. So four categories. Sankshipt, Sankir, Sampan, Smridhavan. After Purvarat, Man, 
and Pravas and Dur Pravas. What's happening here in Vrindavan and Dwarka means Brajavasi is coming to Kurukshetra and Krishna from Kurukshetra coming to the Kuru, Krishna from Dwarka coming to Kurukshetra. They are seeing, going to see each other. This is called Smriddhavan Sanyog. And there, Krishna met, Krishna saw the cart of Yashoda Maya, the cart of Nand Maharaj. Krishna is not young now, he's not a small boy who's just dancing and running here and there in Gokul. He's almost more than 100 years old. Dur Pravas. No, only 10 years, 2 months, Krishna has to go for And then in Dwarka, they are meeting almost after 100 years. I cannot tell you the exact figure, but almost 100 years. After that long separation, when Krishna saw Yashoda Maya, he ran. And instead of paying obeisances, that's the etiquette. When you see your senior, first of all, pay obeisances. But when the frame is so high, there is no room for any etiquette. Mm -hmm. Krishna came and embraced Yashoda Maya. The stream of tears start flowing from her eyes of Ganga and Jamuna. And in that old age, the milk came out from her breast. So much vatsale, affection overflowing. Stream of milk and stream of tears. She don't want to release Krishna. She don't want. Right. Seeing and meeting Krishna after long, long years. And Nanda Baba is waiting. When Yashoda was going to leave Krishna and I also there the line to embrace him. And Nanda Baba pacified Maya and Yashoda. And she realized, oh, he also had to embrace Krishna. Then Nanda Baba he embraced Krishna and Nan Baba bitterly cried. Krishna is weeping and crying and they both drenched each other like Abhishek with the tears. Everyone is, everyone is seeing this. The Sakhas are seeing this. They also want to meet Krishna. Every individual Krishna met with tears in his eyes. It's called Smriddha Man after so many years. But then, <coughs> Krishna wants to see Braj Gopis. Radharani, after meeting everyone, when Krishna met Radharani and Braj Gopis, and the dialogue took place there. The dialogue is what Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is relishing when he's dancing in front of the chariot. Mahaprabhu in the mood of Radharani. Krishna Bhav Vidura, Radha Bhav Vidura. The meetings taking place at Kurukshetra. Mahaprabhu is speaking this in the mood of Radharani. What Radharani is speaking, and what Krishna is speaking. This is mentioned in Chitra By this Leela, by Kurukshetra Leela, one important fact also revealed the importance of Shivindavan Dham. Because amongst all the pastimes of Krishna, the Ras Leela is the topmost. Vriyad Vaman Puran says, Santi Yadhyame Praja, Leela Sado Manohara, Nahi Jani Svate Rase, Mano Kim Drisham Bhave. Even though I manifest so many pastimes, but when I think of Ras Leela, I don't know what happens to me. I get totally restless. That's my favorite pastime. And for Ras Leela, four ingredients are essentials. One, the knife, the hero. Second, the naika, the heroine. Third, the sahachari, means those who are assisting Radharani. 
तो हीरो भी अंडरस्टैंड कृष्ण नायक धीर ललित नायक द हीरोइन इज महाभाव स्वरूपनी श्री राधा ठकुरानी एंड सहचरिस गोपीज Without gopis, the leela cannot take place. Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he is having conversation with Shri Ramanand Rai at Godavari, Shri Ramanand Rai said this: "Gopi gan bina e leela pushti kabu nae. Gopi gan vistariya gopi aswadai. Without gopis, this pastime cannot be nourished. Gopis are the one who expand this pastimes, and they are the one who relish this pastime." so very important ingredient is a sahajaris the bridge gopis and the fourth most important ingredient is that aadhar that foundation shri vrindavan dham that fourth ingredient is absent in kurukshetra the three ingredients were there krishna is there radha ji is there bridge gopis are there and proposal is was also there But the fourth most important, important, Shri Vrindavan Dham is not there because under one man, more man Vrindavan, mane mane ek kori mane. Radha Ji said, Vrindavan is my heart, and Ras Lila can only take place there. So Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sing Jagannath, Sing Krishna, Vidhra nahi, tuhi saakshan bhajan nandan. चैतन्य महाप्रभु वटिंग वन वर्ड्स या को मरा हरा एंड अमंग सो मेनी एसोसिएट्स ऑफ महाप्रभु ओनली स्वरूप दामोदर गोस्वामी अंडरस्टूड द बोर्ड ऑफ शिव चैतन्य महाप्रभु स्वरूप दामोदर गोस्वामी एंड शिव रूप गोस्वामी स्वरूप दामोदर गोस्वामी हाइडिंग द स्मूथ ऑफ महाप्रभु ही अंडरस्टूड But Mahaprabhu is uttering this words from an ordinary Sahitya Darpan. But Rupa Goswami Pad composed exactly the same mood, understanding the same mood of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He composed other words with the same moods. Priya soham sanchari, Kurushetra smritha, tadham samaradha, tad uge sangam sukham, tad trapi antar kerana. मधुर मुरली पंचम जुशे मनो में कालिंद कुलिंद वितनया स्परम प्रिय सोम कृष्ण सेंचुरी कुरुक्षेत्र मिलतस ओ आफ्टर सो मेनी इयर्स नाउ वी आर मीटिंग एट कुरुक्षेत्र आई एम सेम राधा यू आर सेम कृष्ण बट रास लीला कैन नॉट टेक प्लेस हियर मनो में कालिंद कुलिंद वितनया माय माइंड इज रनिंग ऑन द बैंक तो जमुना एंड रास लीला कैन ओनली टेक दिस देयर सो दिस इज द पॉइंट फ्रॉम वेयर द कन्वर्सेशन स्टार्ट्स लास्ट ईयर आई वाज रीडिंग दिस रिमेंबर एंड बिकॉज़ दिस ईयर वी हैव रत यात्रा सो श्री चतरे महाप्रभु इज रिलिशिंग दिस मूड्स व्हाट राधा रानी addressing to krishna beautiful conversation a few shlokas let's see how much we can read today otherwise next class beautiful conversation now when radharani is meeting krishna there is mixed emotions here not the same emotions mixed emotion means some anger a joy of union samruddha man samyog you know like you make a lassi a laminate so many ingredients so mix emotions a joy of samruddha man samyog meeting after so many years that joy but some anger no need to use words the glance itself is speaking where is your promise you promised us you going to come and anger joy and submission submissive mood
and also kind of testing mood. What is the mood of Krishna now? After marriage, marrying 16,100 queens. You know? So Radharani is starting. Chitta kari toma hete vishe chai lagaite. Jatna kari nahi kari wari. Tomar dhyan shiksha kar. Loki hasiya mar. Sthan sthan akaro vichare. I would like to withdraw my consciousness from you and engage in material activities. Chitta kari toma hete vishe chai lagaite. I don't want to remember you. I don't want to remember you. I want to take my all senses away from you. But you know, you did something very wrong to us. What is that? You kept senses with us, but you took our mind with you. We can't even leave our body. Why? Because anyone who has tasted your past time, your glories, become immortal. Because we already tasted your past times. And our mind is running with you. So we are so helpless, we can't even die. Anyone who tasted Yad Anuchatta Leela in Brahma Gita, Radha is telling to Uddha, Yad Anuchatta Leela Karna Pyush Vipurat. Even if one time a Krishna Katha enters in someone's ears, there's 100% there is going to be a transformation. And if it's not happening, something is wrong. As Bhakti Parashava Virakti. When there is Bhakti, there is also uh, Pareshanubhav means the, sex, the realization of Krishna. And simultaneously, there is also going to be renunciation. Just like Pushti Pushti Kodupayan Bhasam. Just like when we eat uh, one morsel of food, what happened? Pushti, satisfaction. Pushti, nourishment. And? Huh? You're not hungry anymore. Subside the hunger. Three things goes together simultaneously. So bhakti parashama virakti. Bhakti means sadhan with experience, realization of Krishna and virakti. Renunciation goes together. If one Krishna katha enters in the ears, just once, we are heading from so many years. <laughs> <laughs> but Gopi said, this is our dilemma, what to do? You put us in a very difficult situation. We don't want to remember you. We are trying to engage our senses yeah, in other activities. But because you took away our, our mind with you. And that's why we can't even leave body, we can't die. Because anyone who has tasted, tasted your past time, your name, becomes immortal. So how we can die? Tara dhyan shikshakar lokiya hasyamar sthan sthan hakaro vichare. I am naturally inclined to you only. Your instruction for me to meditate on you are therefore simply with your prayers. In this way, you are killing me. It is not very good for you to think of me as a candidate for your instructions. Krishna, you can't change your nature. Some rosh. Rosh means anger. You know what you are speaking here in Kurukshetra? You are very fond of instructions. And even your associates, they are very fond of instructions. You sent Buddha to us. And we understood, we figured out is your person. <laughs> because he immediately started giving instructions. <laughs> you are very fond of instructions. You only want to speak, speak, speak. But you don't consider where to speak, whom you are speaking to, time, place, circumstance. Here in Kurukshetra, after so many years of meet, uh, separation we are meeting, and you are giving Siddhanta here, you are giving Tattva here. So some rosh, 
angers. And Krishna was, Krishna wanted to hear this. Imagine the situation. Just imagine the situation materially. We can't go spiritually to understand this. I can't. After 100 years of separation, meeting at one place, let's say one of your friends to whom you love the most, and you're meeting that person after 50 years, and you promise something to him or her, but you not fulfill your promise. Mm. And when you love them, beloved, in front of you, how can you look in the eyes? So what Krishna mood is full of emotions and mixed emotions, some embarrassment, some shy, my embarrassment, I gave a promise. I'm going to come soon. Parso, parso may be the way. You told you're going to come day after tomorrow, but till he comes and you're going to come back. In so many years. We even curse Vidhata, the creator, that you don't know how to make this body. Such a big, huge body with just two small eyes. And then eyelashes. When they blink, it appears to us, millions of yugas have passed. Yugaitam nimeshena, charsusha pravashitam, shunya vijagasarvam, Fraction of second, not seeing you, what happens to us? And after so many years meeting here, Krishna is so embarrassed. Just like, there is two, Agati and Pradurbhav. Agati means when Krishna is out with the cows in the forest, Vishaka, Lalita, Lalita, Vishaka, pacifying Radharani, Krishna is going to see you soon. Relax. True. This is Agati. But there is one thing which is called Pradurbhav. Pradurbhav means, uh, for example, uh, Gopi Gip. Krishna was just there, hearing this. And after hearing Gopi Gita, Pradurbhav, he appeared there. How he appeared there? Tasam abhibhushwari sme man mukhamudha pitamba dhra sarvavi saksha manmat manmat. Good way of describing that. Little shy, little embarrassed, and you know, embarrassing. Little shy. Oh, I was just trying to play with them. They took it so seriously, they started weeping and crying. That was just my play. I felt so embarrassed there. The same embarrassment is there now. I gave them promise. And after <coughs> meeting here, Samrityaman Sanyog, not ordinary Sanyog, not ordinary meeting. That was in Vrindavan. That's Sankship, Sankir, Sampan. These three categories were in Vrindavan, where there was Purvarat, there was Man, and there was, you know, some hours of separation. But this is Smridhavan. How do you understand this? Just like Golok, Leela, there is so much also flame overflowing, ups and downs, just like a, what is that? Uh, when we throw a stone in the pond, ripples? Ripples. It's like this. Or it can be compared to the waves of the river. Sometimes rivers have small tiny waves. But Bhong Vrindavan Leela, this Leela is like tsunami. It comes through and takes everything away. There is no tsunami there. The tsunami happens here. The tsunami of separation, the tsunami of union. So Krishna's words, what he's describing, and why he described this? He's trying to check what's, what are the jewels in the heart of my gopis. They're just seeing each other, eye to eye glance, but someone has to start with. And Krishna started. So what he has to start? Some instructions? 
મારી ભક્તિ ની ભૂતા નામ અમૃતા કલ્પ કે
तेरपि उभे मध्ये राधिका सर्वराधिका महाभाव सरोतरी गुणे अतिर्वयसी अमंग ऑल द गोपीज स्वपक्षा विपक्षा तटस्थ टू आर मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टंट ओ चंद्रावली एन तेरपि उभे मध्ये राधिका सर्वराधिका राधा राणी सो राधा राणी ऑल्सो स्पीकिंग ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ ऑल अदर गोपीज टुगेदर नाही गोपी योगेश्वर वी आर नॉट योगीज पद कमल तुम्हार चित्ते पाए में संतोष जस्ट बाय मेडिटेटिंग ऑन योर लोटस फीट वी गेट सम सेटिस्फेक्शन नाही गोपी योगेश्वर ओ प्यारे ओ बिलवर द गोपीज आर हेयर टू सर्व यू यू हैव नॉट अंडरस्टूड द गोपीज यू आर फेलियर देयर Accept your, admit your failure there. What do you think we are gopis? Just by placing your lotus feet and remembering the lotus feet in the heart, you think we are going to get satisfaction? Nahi gopi yogeshwar. Padh kamal tomar jitte paive santosh. Tomar vakya paripati tar mote koti nati. And you see, what you speaking? Here in Goshetra. Your words full of duplicity, kuti mm. nati, suni gopi ar bolo rosh. You are making us more angry now. You are making us more angry. Five more minutes. Four more minutes. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> प्रोडोमिनेटी ऑफ वृंदावन ओवर कुरुक्षेत्र means puri and uh, mathra and dwarka lila sorry dominance of mathra and dwarka lila second point how vipralam bhav is so important the vipralam is so important with union how vipralam is so important with union because other sampradayas they don't believe in vipralam bhav but rup goswami kan He described this vipralam bhav, and this vipralam bhav is so important that three prominent avatars, Maryada Prashottam Sri Ram, Lila Prashottam Krishna, and Prem Prashottam Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. The reason for their descent on this planet is to relish vipralam bhav, which is not. Which is just like a bhav, a mood in all of Vrindavan, but there is no gamna gaman lila. Shri Jeev Goswami Pad in Sandarbha is describing there is no going out from Vrindavan lila, and therefore two great elaboration of the Krishna pastimes described by Shri Kavi Karnpur Goswami, Anand Vrindavan Champu, and by Jeev Goswami, Shri Gopal Champu. But Kavi Kanpur Goswami, describing, elaborating the past times of Krishna in Braj, he ends up with holy lila. He has not described the Mathura lila and the Varka lila because he never believes Krishna goes out from Vrindavan. Anand Vrindavan Sampu. But Jeev Goswami, because he is uh, Siddhantik. very tatvik and to make everyone understand what is the reason of krishna going mathra and dwarka to establish the superiority of braj bhav and braj parikara that's why he took krishna out from vrindavan to mathra and dwarka but everywhere he is describing according to snigh vikand and madhukar in golok the speciality of Vrindavan Vasis, 
and the representative all Brajavasis. You ever saw any Brajavasi? Hmm. Not those who stay in Vrindavan, not that Brajavasis. Do we see any Brajavasi? We ever okay. saw Brajavasi? Gurudev! He's Brajavasi. The representative of all Brajavasis. He's the one who told us, informed us, and inspired us to enter into this Brajavila. And therefore we just heard, Buddha said, this is my problem, I can't resist without speaking this. Bad habit. This is my bad habit. <laughs> Only a Brajavasi can describe the glories of Brajavasi. Only Brajavasis. How fortunate we are. How fortunate we are. Two Bhakti Vedantas <laughs> flooded this entire universe with Brajavasi. Two Bhakti Vedantas. Shri Prabhupada and then Shri Gurudev. I would say, a very bold statement. Entire Gaudiyas, who is going to come in future, is going to be eternally indebted to the contribution of Baba Shri Gurudev. Internally indebted for years and years and ages and ages of his uh, fearlessly describing Raja Baha. For which he also got comments that he is a Sajya. Yes. <laughs> he got. Yeah. Very sensitive issue. But there's going to be world war here. <laughs> but he accepted this as an honor man. Yes. As Lalita Saki is saying, Dhurte praje tanye tanye shushta bhamyam ma dakshna bhav kalam tani lagavaya. Rade Giram Shunu Itan Shishayanti Devi Gunay Sudalitam Lalitam Namami. Radharani accepting all that accusations. All that accusation that you are unchaste woman, you are this, you are that, only to please Krishna. And Srila Guru Dev, Guru Rupam Param Sakhi, the most dear Sakhi of Sri Radharani, also accepting all these accusations as ornament a crown on his head. And then, this is my bad habit, I cannot speak something, anything else, I only have to speak about Vrajabhav. Gaur Primana.